Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project mobile shop management system and I have developed this project in Java JSP and MySQL. The version for the JDK I am using is JDK 1.8 and MySQL version is 5.6. For connecting Java JSP with MySQL, I am using the MySQL J connector which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. This is a web based application so I am using Tocket version 9 for running this project and for front end development I have used HTML, CSS and JavaScript with some of the jQuery library. Uh, like for form validations, creating date calendar plugin integrations, I have used the jQuery library. So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project, mobile shop management system. Also, this is a mini project which has only and only admin login. This is not an online mobile store. This is a mobile shop management system. Right. So let's go with the functionalities that what we have developed inside it. Right. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a home page. This is an about project. Right, you can see this is the about project. Right, this is static content. There is nothing dynamic on this page. This is the admin login. This is a dynamic admin login, and what the credential you will enter here will be verified from the database. This is a contact us page. This is a static contact us page. Even I'm not sending this information anywhere into database. Even I'm not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. So I'm going to log in as an admin. If you enter the invalid details, then it will show you invalid user ID and password. So the user ID is admin and password is test. Once you log inside the system, you will get the administrator dashboard. From where you will be able to perform certain operations, which only admin can do. Right. So this is the add mobile. Once you click on the word add mobile, you can add the mobiles. Right. You can see the for type, company name, product name, unit name, means uh, per price descriptions. You can enter the details here. And once you enter the details. And you can save it right this is the add sales so after adding the mobile if you want to sell it to customers then this is a sales dashboard from where you will be able to sell mobile phone to the customer right here you need to enter the customer name first so i am entering the customer name first and the mobile number once you click on the add more item you can add any number of uh, items here right you can remove it too right so suppose if i am selling one mobile and the second mobile right so quantity one, quantity one, and the price is twelve thousand rupees, and then I know it's thirteen thousand rupees, right? Total is so twelve thousand. This is thirteen thousand, right? So total cost is twenty five thousand. Once you click on the save cells, then this page details will be saved into the database, and you can check it later also. Once you click on the save cells, then you can see this page is running from the database. All of the information is coming from the database. This is a print receipt. If you click on the print receipt, then this page will be printed from your connected printer. Right. So this is ad sales. I already explained to this is a report. All of the mobiles which you have added will be displayed here. This is a smart table which contains a lot of functionalities like you can copy it, you can make export this uh, table into the CSV in Excel in PDF and print it also. You can search the mobile from here. I am searching for the Samsung. Then you can see the Samsung mobile, which contains here, will be displayed. Right? Even you can edit it. Once you click on the edit, then this information will be uh, open into the form. And after that, you can edit and you can save it here. Right. So this is the edit form. This is a mobile report. This is a sales report. Once you click on the sales report, all of the sales which has made when you will be displayed here. Right. If you click on the view details, then you will be able to see the details of that sales. You can see this is the last sales which we have made. Right. So this sales report will show you all of the sales. Currently, it's saying that showing one of 10 items of fill interest means there are 12 items available in the database, but it's showing 10. Then how you can jump on the next two items? Just click on the two page number or previous or next. This is a pagination which we have implemented here. Right? If record is more than 10, then the pagination will render. Right? You can, you can search the record from here too. Like if we search for the Sumit, then you can see Sumit is here. Right? If you want to clear the search, just click on the cause. The search will be cleared. So, right? so this is the cell support. This is the logout. Once you click on the logout, then session will be destroyed and no administration menu will be displayed here. Let me show you. Once you click on the logout, then you can see administration menu is not displayed. But if you log in, then administration menu is displaying. If I log out, 
then administration menu is not displayed. So this is a session driven. It renders according to the session, right? If administration is set, then it will be rendered, else it will not. Right? So these all functionality they have developed inside this project mobile shop management system. As I told you earlier, this project I have developed in Java, GSP, and MySQL. And I am using the Tomcat server for developing this for running this project. And this is a Java GSP MySQL web-based mini DBMS project. If you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate those changes. I will make this project more better and better according to requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.